Hello, I'm Miao Liu. I'm going to present forecasting human object interaction, joint prediction of motor attention and actions in first person video. This is a joint work of Georgia Tech, University of Wisconsin Medicine, and ETH Zurich. Human has the innate ability of looking into the near future. Considering the example in this slide, by looking at the video shortly before the action begins, we can easily predict the future action as take the canister. In this work, we address this challenging task of action anticipation. Besides action labels, we can also imagine the intentional body movement, which is also known as motor attention. In first person context, motor attention can be represented as future hand trajectory. In fact, Motor attention reveals key information about future human object interaction. Considering the same example, future hand trajectory implies which part of the object will be grasped and what is the future action. Now, how can we design a joint model that uses motor attention for forecasting human object interaction? The proposed joint model takes video frames X as input and outputs future action label Y, motor attention I, and interaction hotspots A. Our model first uses motor attention to index important spatial temporal features for interaction hotspots estimation, and then further uses motor attention and interaction hotspots for action anticipation. Therefore, we have the following conditional probability. The joint model seems intuitive at the first class. However, predicting the future is fundamentally ambiguous. The observation of future interaction only represents one of the many possibilities characterized by an underlying distribution. Therefore, we need to model the stochastic patterns of human intentional movement. We propose a stochastic union with sampling mechanism to account for the uncertainty of the future representation. We first use a mapping function WM to generate a licensed distribution of motor attention from the network feature. This mapping function is composed of a 3D convolutional operation and a softmax function. We then sample from the attention distribution and use sample the attention as a feature indicator for interaction response estimation and action anticipation. During training, we assume the prior distribution is given a supervision signal and adopt the gamble softmax trick to enable the back propagation of the gradients. The same stochastic units is also adopted for interaction hotspot module. Putting everything together, we have the following full model. We adopt a 3D convolutional network as backbone. We then adopt the aforementioned stochastic units to generate sampled motor attention from the network feature of the second convolutional block. The sampled motor attention is used to guide the interaction hotspots estimation. Then a similar stochastic units generate sampled interaction hotspots from the network feature of the third convolutional block. Finally, both sampled motor attention and interaction hotspots are used to selectively aggregate important visual features for predicting future human object interaction. We assume the prior distribution of motor attention and the interaction hotspots are given as screening signals. Our proposed model thereby optimizes the deep latent variable model by maximizing the following evidence lower bound. Therefore, the equivalent training loss has three terms. The first term is the standard cross entropy loss for action classification. The 2KR divergence term matches the motor attention and the interaction hotspots to the corresponding prior distribution. During training, multiple samples of the same input will be drawn at different iterations. So theoretically, we should also draw many samples and take average at inference time. 
This dense sampling process can be computationally expensive. It takes a shortcut of plugging in the deterministic motor attention and interaction hotspots. Note that the action anticipation function is composed of a linear mapping function and a softmax function, and therefore it's convex. So by this inequality, this approximation does provide a valid lower bound of dense sampling. Here are some qualitative results of our method. As shown in the successful case, the motor attention almost always attends to the predicted objects and interaction hotspots. Our model also yields to certain limitations. Take the failure cases, for example. The model is more likely to fail when the future object is not visible, or the future object is occluded. Here are our action anticipation results on Epic Kitchen dataset. The results are reported as top one accuracy. Our method performs on par with the previous best method, RULSTM, on same kitchen site. Note that RULSTM adopt optical flow and object features as additional input modalities. When fusing with the same object screen from RULSTM, the resulting model achieves state-of-the-art results. On unseen kitchen site, our model alone outperforms RULSTM by a notable margin. Fusing with the object screen can further boost the performance. To further validate our model design, we conduct detailed ablation study of both Georgia Tech Gates Plus dataset and the Epic Kitchen dataset. As we can see from the results in this slide, Joint modeling can improve the baseline S3D model by a notable margin. Yet motor attention plays a more important role in the performance gain. Another important take home here is that joint modeling in a deterministic fashion has minor influence on the overall performance. This supports our claim on stochastic unions can account for the uncertainty of motor attention and interaction hotspots. Going beyond action anticipation, our proposed approach provides additional capabilities of estimating interaction hotspots and predicting future hand trajectories. For interaction hotspots estimation, we report F1 score on a downsampled heat map. Our method outperforms previous work on interaction hotspots estimation by a significant margin. This result suggests that our proposed joint model can effectively identify future interaction region. Our method also achieves competitive results on predicting future hand trajectory. We report the average displacement error as previous works on trajectory prediction. Note that all other baseline methods require the coordinate of observed hand for prediction which simplifies trajectory prediction into a less challenging regression problem. In contrast, our model does not need hand coordinate for inference. In summary, we present the first probabilistic deep model that uses motor attention for forecasting human object interaction. Our model achieves strong results on two egocentric benchmark datasets. See more details in our paper. And thank you for listening.